What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. He's just going to break bad. This company is planning on installing driver facing cameras. This driver wants to know. He wants to know what you guys thoughts on it. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. See if I can get some feedback on this. Um, we had a conference call, kind of a safety meeting at work today. And uh, they're trying to put driver facing cameras in the trucks. And they're getting a lot of flack from the drivers and this and that, saying, hey, you know, we'll quit and this and that. It's an invasion of privacy, especially when we close the blinds. Um, you know, you don't want to see this naked. And then the company's like, oh no, you know, that's it's just for an accident purposes. I know better. I've dealt with companies um, and we had uh, dispatchers and companies sued because one of the ladies that was in there would close her curtains and they would turn on the camera. And apparently she was in her bunk, had the curtains closed. Hey, that's your home. She was nude. So, yeah, so, and they had a problem with this driver, uh, driver's dispatcher doing this to her quite often. And, uh, so she sued, she sued the company and sued the driver, uh, dispatcher. So, I don't know, me personally, with what I do, I just bought the trailers. I don't really care. It doesn't bother me. Everybody else that runs up and down the road, and with this instance of that, of that gal, um, Kind of an invasion. I mean, that's just my opinion. Kind of an invasion on privacy, especially when they can turn them on and turn them off as they want to. They say they can't. I know better. So, anybody that's got a driver facing camera, tell me your pros and cons. Tell me what you think. Um, they haven't done this yet with the company. It's just an idea what they want to do. So, but uh, yeah, give me some feedback. So this is a controversial topic, right? Driver facing cameras. I mean, majority of the companies out there, they have driver facing cameras in their trucks and particularly the mega carriers. You know, when I started off with U.S. Express, they didn't have driver facing cameras. But eventually, later down the line, they had installed driver facing cameras. Now, some company has outward-facing cameras, and, you know, that's for the protection of the driver. You know, you get into an incident, bump, you know, a scrape, minor scrape or anything like that, the camera will come on, capture the event, and then it will upload it to the cloud for safety to look at it. Now... All of us, you know, back in the day used to be so naive when we would talk to a recruiter and a recruiter would turn around and say, hey, you know, it's not recording you guys. It's, it, it, it only records the events when it happens. It, it records 10 seconds before and 10 seconds after or 20 seconds after or something like that. But we all know better now. Now we know better. I mean, I have made the call to the company themselves to actually find out a little bit more in detail of what the cameras are about. They would turn around and say, hey, you know, we won't be able to see it. But like I said, we, we know better. There has, just like he says, there has been companies that were sued by female drivers because of invasion of privacy. They can instantly with a key code or a code or whatever, and whoever got that code, all they have to do is type in the truck number and the code associated with that truck, and they will be able to see everything in real time. Now, with, with, driver, with driver cams getting more and more and more technology built into them, now they got, tech, not, now they got facial technology that, you know, that safety can actually see if you have your phone in your hand. It can look it, it can look at your eyes to see if your eyes is focused on the road 
or is it focused down? Usually, if we try to hide it out of out of sight or anything like that, but we they could still tell that your eyes are focused other than the road. Technology is being built in these cameras now. Now, drivers, what are your thoughts on this? I mean, have you have you been a subject of being caught on camera and called into safety to talk about it? And if so, what was the outcome? I mean, a couple of a couple of outcomes that I talked to a few drivers wasn't good. Wasn't good at all. <laughs> wasn't good at all. But who's to say that you're a female driver, you get up, you go in your bunk, you get undressed, because a lot of females, you know, they like to get undressed. They like to put on their, you know, lingerie or whatever, whatever. And some creep back at the back at the home office just happens to say, uh, you know, that driver one, two, three, four looks fine as fuck. Let me do 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 do. And that's all they had to do is just come right in. Now, sometimes, now some places would allow you to cover the camera if the truck is not in motion. If the truck's not in motion, they don't mind, you know, cover it up. But what if you're a team driver, though? What are you a team driver that has a camera in your truck? And your team driver just happened to sit up in the in the in a in a jump seat half naked. You know what I'm saying? You know, providing that that nice little visual for you on the side while you're getting down the road. Mm. Yeah, can't wait to hit them cheeks after I pull over. Let me <laughs> hey. But what if what if somebody decides to do 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 do? And then they see her right there in the jump seat in her lingerie looking sweet, looking luxurious and all like that. And who's to say somebody's not doing that? But again, drivers, we all know better. We definitely do. We know better. Yo, let's jump right into the comment. This first commenter says, as an owner operator, I would never put a driver facing camera in my truck. I agree. I mean, as as a owner operator, I wouldn't. I mean, but sometimes companies do kind of like require that. But still, as an owner operator, I, I, I wouldn't put it in my truck. This commenter says, if the bunk curtains is closed, what can they see? Or are you talking about the window cab curtains? Bro, come on now. Come on now. Sometimes you don't sometimes you don't sleep with the bunk curtains closed sometimes, right? Right? I mean, they can see everything if the bunk curtains is open. And a lot of times you guys is not sleeping with the bunk curtains closed. Let's be honest. This commenter says just more stress to an already stressful job. Yes. I mean, you 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 literally got Big Brother watching over you, pretty much. This commenter says, I would not drive for a company with one installed in my truck. Well, there's not too many companies left unless you go with a mom and pop style company. But even mom and pops are are getting them installed per their insurance. And this commenter says, well, some companies go too far with it and harass drivers for taking sips of soda or snacking. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I can understand if we eat, you know, we got a burger in our hand, we sipping our soda and all like that. Then all of a sudden we get a call and they be like, yo, uh, you know, you kind of like need to keep both hands on the wheel. This commenter says, they are strictly a po they are strictly a policing tool. An outward camera gives them everything they need for an accident. Inward will only hang you in court. Pretty yeah. Because inward, they're gonna want to know what you was doing at the time of the accident. So, I mean, if you was doing something that you're not supposed to be doing, then yeah, you of course you're gonna get hung. Drivers, let me know in the comments below. What's your thoughts on inward or outward facing cameras? 
would you drive for a company that has them? Or are you driving for a company that has them and it doesn't bother you? Let us know. Big G's got it locked, boy.